What news, Antaya? I've learned much about my enemy. Share what you know, then. Jubayer has become obsessed with purging the city of its knowledge. The most terrible crime. Now I see why Al Mualim wants you to remove him. He's using the city scholars to assist him. They go out into the streets, harassing the people and collecting all their written works. I fear he intends to destroy them all. He must be stopped. That's why I'm here. He's to hold a meeting soon, at the Madrasa al Alasa. It's where I'll go. It's where I'll take his life. I'll leave you alone to prepare. Bring glory to the brother. Away with this. Every single text in this city must be destroyed. My friend, you must not do this. Much knowledge rests within these parchments, put there by our ancestors for good reason. And what reason is this? They are beacons meant to guide us. To save us from the darkness that is ignorance. No, these bits of paper are covered in lies. They poison your minds, and so long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. How can you accuse these scrolls of being weapons? They are tools of learning. You turn to them for answers and salvation. You rely more upon them than yourselves. This makes you weak and stupid. You trust in words, drops of ink. Do you ever stop to think of who put them there? Or why? No, you simply accept their words without question. And what if those words speak falsely, as they often do? This is dangerous. You are wrong. These texts give the gift of knowledge. We need them. You love your precious writings. You do anything for them? Yes. Uh, yes, of course. Then join them! Ah! Ah! Any man who speaks as he is just as much a threat. Do any else among you wish to challenge me? Good! Your orders are simple enough. Go out into the city. Collect any remaining writings and add them to the piles in the streets. When you're done, we'll send a cart to collect them that they may be destroyed. be free to do what they believe. It is not our right to punish one for thinking what they do, no matter how much we disagree. Then what? You of all people should know the answer. Educate them. 
Teach them right from wrong. It must be knowledge that frees them, not force. They do not learn, fixed in their ways as they are. You are naive to think otherwise. It's an illness for which there is but one cure. You're wrong, and that's why you must be put to rest. Am I not unlike those precious books you seek to save? A source of knowledge with which you disagree, yet you are rather quick to steal my life. A small sacrifice to save many. It is necessary. Is it not ancient scrolls that inspire the Crusaders? That fill Salah Adin and his men with a sense of righteous fury? Their texts endanger others, bring death in their wake. I too was making a small sacrifice. It matters little now. Your deed is done. And so am I. Altair, tell me you've met with success. Yes. Jubayer's fires are extinguished. His life as well. Excellent news. I had no doubt you'd succeed. You should have seen it. The scholars followed him so readily. It wasn't just books they fed to fire either, but any man who opposed them. Such ignorance breeds only evil. You've done a good thing this day. As with my other targets, he believed he was doing the right thing, clearing a path to a better future. Of course he would. Such is the landscape of a madman's mind. The things I've seen these past few weeks, it's as if all the land has gone mad. And this is why we fight to end the war. That sanity might return. The people are desperate for direction. It's easy for men like Jubayer to prey on this and turn them towards evil. You should go, Altair. Return to Al Mualim. Tell him what you saw. Let him know the good you've done this day. Safety and peace, Rafiq. Upon you as well. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. 